My name is Dick Cable. I'm here at Gaylord with a brain injury. I go out for a long bike ride. Uh, I plan to increase my number to over 400 miles for the season. So I went on a 37 mile ride, came back into the parking lot where the car was parked. I went to the end of the parking lot, turned around, I began back to my car, as I remember. Weeks later, I come to in a hospital bed. My name is Tomas, Tomas Rojas. I'm from Spain. I came to the States 23 years ago as a teacher of uh, languages. I met uh, Dick a year later, and we have been together ever since. Dick is uh, other than a wonderful, incredible man. As an avid biker, he is stubborn. I've been telling him forever, don't bike by yourself. He usually bikes with other people. But this wonderful November day, the 6th of November, was a lovely, lovely, like, amazing almost summer day. He remembers the ride. He remembers getting to the parking lot where he fell off the bike. That's what we know from a witness. We don't know exactly how he fell, what really happened. And I learned that he had had a diffuse axonal injury. And it consists of bleedings in the brain one of them being very deep in the brain, and he was going to be flown to Vassar Brothers Hospital in Poughkeepsie, New York. The prognosis was at that point absolutely horrible. He was uh, in a coma uh, for over a week. He began to wake up and uh, he began to open his eyes and uh, look around and he began to, uh, to be responsive to pain, to stimuli of some kind. And uh, that was like big hopes. He's back, he's coming back. But I didn't know, we didn't know how far away he was from coming back. He actually doesn't remember a thing about being at Basel Brothers. The sixth week, we learned that Gaylor would take him in. And that was like a whoa moment, because we knew how wonderful Gaylor is. Dick started at a very low cognitive and physical level. When Dick first came in, he required the assistance of two people to get into a standing position. He required the use of a mechanical lift when he first got here, just for safety with getting out of bed. He was not able to sit up unsupported. He required a, a good amount of help to do that. He also struggled with being able to stay awake at the beginning. So his ability to essentially even participate in a true assessment as we begin with everyone here was I, I think impacted by his ability to stay awake for our sessions. My first concern with Dick in assessing him besides swallowing was his language, his speech and language. He could only understand following a one-step command, he couldn't follow any two-step commands, and he couldn't answer personal yes-no questions consistently. His speech was what we call language of confusion, and that's where he would say words that were real, but they didn't make any sense. And his reasoning and problem solving, he was having a hard time just figuring out how to put things together. These are all common things with a brain injury. You can't assess cognition until you figure out what someone's speech and language skills are. So we had to get through that first. We began therapy right away with Dick. We always encourage early mobilization and we encourage if the patient can tolerate it, aggressive therapy right from the start. He's progressed fairly quickly, more quickly than we often see in these, uh, these cases of traumatic brain injury. So the first two weeks were pretty slow, and then it kind of kept moving along from there, and towards the end it was progressing pretty quickly. I thought Dick would do well, but he did really, really well. He arrived in Gaylor on the 15th of December, and from that point on, he's been improving and improving and improving and improving. You know, if I would have looked back to where he first started with us in the very beginning, would I have envisioned him to be able to do what he's doing now, if I'm being very honest? No. I'm thrilled for him to be able to be moving on from here and going home. Um, so it's been actually a really cool experience for me to be able to watch his progress, um, to see his motivation, and also certainly 
Uh, the support that he's had from his significant other, I think, has done very well in his recovery. Tomas, his husband, was here every day, and he was very involved in his care. One huge benefit that Dick had in his experience here was the support and the uh, constant encouragement from his husband. Tomas was here daily working with Dick. Tomas being in this environment with Dick and supporting him through this tough experience has been pivotal in his recovery. Oh, we have a man back. He's back. He's back from, uh, from the shadows. Absolutely the place to be is Taylor. I feel extremely, extremely happy. It's been amazing care from all of you, from every angle. I mean, sometimes when you have this feeling that, oh, he's like the only patient they have here. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the feeling I have. They are so dedicated to him. That's, it's like, like, he's the only one. And then you come around and say, oh, there are many people here. I can't wait to go home. This is home. It's what you know. I'm told I will be fully recovered. Um, so I've made, I think, great progress. I think the staff has been amazing. It's been fabulous. I would, I would recommend them hands down.